Hey folks, Scott Sager with you here today. I'm over at Riddle Elementary School. We're having a lot of fun as they do their annual wax museum. I'm here with this young man. He, uh, he just got off the track. He sprinted down there in a time of, I don't know what, 0.4 seconds. You were just down there in light speed, weren't you? Hey, what's your name? Chaz. Chaz, who's your, uh, who's your presentation on today? Drew Skillman. Okay, tell me about that. From Indiana? Yes. Yeah, I'm born in Rochester. No, he was born in Greenwood, Indiana. Okay, born in Greenwood. Watch out, I got a camera right there, big guy. Uh, we get photobombed all the time. Okay, so tell her about your name again. Your name? Chaz. Okay, Chaz. So uh, tell us, you got the helmet, you got the lights, you got a trophy. I take it you're pretty passionate about racing, huh? Yes. Do you race yourself? Yes, I race a junior dragster. Excellent. Have you won any trophies? Yes, actually I have. How fast do you go? Uh, about 20. 800 miles an hour, no? No, uh, 55. 55 miles an hour. How old are you? Nine. Well, I'm glad you're on a track when you're going 55 miles an hour. Well, thanks for being here today, okay? Say hi to your mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> All right, thanks, buddy. Okay, so uh, I'm here with another guy. It's uh, Mike Tyson's cousin. No, it's not. What's your name? Jay Bezyarber. You got to say it louder. I got to hear you. My real name? The real name? Uh, Jabez Yarber. All right, who's your who's your uh, production on today? Red Skelton. Red Skelton. Was he a boxer? No. No? Well, he was a comedian, that's right. And he was born where? In Vincent's, Indiana. In, down in Vincennes, right? Very nice. So uh, what have you learned from your project here? Have you learned some good jokes or some learn, learned some slapstick comedy? Any kid will run you an errand if you ask at bedtime. Yeah, we had some fun with that, didn't we? We're getting photo bombed again. That happens all the time with us in a big crowd. So uh, you got some pictures up here. Let's show off some of the pictures. So this is Red Skelton when he's older with his dad or with his son, right? No, it's Red Skelton with his son. Okay, very good. And what are some of the other photos you have? I have a picture of Freddy the Freeloader, Red Skelton and his family, and then one of Alaris shows. Well, you've got some really neat stuff here. I see your, one of your notes says that he died of pneumonia. Yeah. That's a tough way to go, isn't it? All right. Well, tell everybody your name again. Jay Bez Yarber. All right. Wave to your mom. Hi. All right. Thanks for being here. Okay, Scott Sager, I'm here again. What's your name, dear? What's your real name first? Emma. And then who are you performing on today? Janet Jackson. It's Miss Janet, if you're, or it's Miss Jackson if you're nasty, right? Yeah. You remember that song? Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you pick uh, Janet Jackson? Because she's a great singer. Great singer? And she's from Indiana, right? Yes. Where was she born? Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Great song called Gary, Indiana, sung by Ronnie Howard in The Music Man, so you can tune that in. So Gary, Indiana. What are some of the cool things about Janet Jackson? She was born May 16, 1966, and she had a musical family, and she was the youngest child. Very cool. Tell everybody your name again. Um, what? Tell What's everybody your name again. Emma. And wave to your mom. Hi. All right. Thanks, Emma. Okay, Scott Sager, I'm with another member of the Jackson family here. What's your real name first? Olivia Bailey. And who are you performing today? Uh, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, the king of pop. You like Michael Jackson? Yes. What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Smooth Criminal. Smooth Criminal, right? Something like that. Can you sing it? No. No, you just let me make fun of myself on TV, right? Well, you've had a lot of fun. What are some of the things? First of all, where was Michael Jackson born? Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana again, just like his sister, right? How old was he when he was on stage for the first time? Um, I don't know. I, don't, I do know he wrote his first song when he was 13. 13 he wrote his first song. I think he was on stage for the first time when he was four years old. That's crazy, isn't it? So you got the glove. Where'd you get the glove? Uh, my grandma. Yeah, grandma had a Michael Jackson glove just hanging around. And is that a wig or is that your real hair? My a uh, wig. Excellent. Well, your project is great. Tell her about your name again. Olivia Bailey. Right, now wave to your mom right there. All right, there you go, mom. Thanks for doing this. You did a great job today. Well, Scott Sager with you again. Uh, we found her. She's been lost for many, many, many years, but we found her. She's here at Riddle Elementary today. First of all, my dear, tell everybody your real name. 
Violet Whitmer. And who are you presenting today? Amelia Earhart. Amelia Earhart. She came to Indiana for a good reason, didn't she? She went to Purdue. Purdue University, as some call it, God's country. I don't know if I'm ready to say that yet, but uh, so she was a graduate of Purdue. She studied aviation while she yeah. was there, right? One of the first women to really study aviation. Yes. Excellent. So she was born in Kansas, came to Indiana for that. What's so famous about Amelia Earhart? She wrote books about her experience, and she also uh, she set a lot of worldwide aviation records. She did. And uh, she was lost in an accident somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, right? Uh-huh, with her navigator, Fred Newman. Yep. And they were trying to go where? They were trying to go around the world? Yeah. She didn't quite make it, did she? No. Well, it's good to dream, so we got to try, right? Tell everybody your name again. Violet Whitmer. All right, wave to Mom and Dad. All right, thanks. Okay, Scott Sager again. I am uh, the small one in this picture here, but uh, we got two gentlemen with us. What's your name? Aaron. What's your name? Harrison Dunwoody. Okay, these guys both did some uh, pro projects on basketball players. Who's yours on? Steve Alford. And yours? Larry Byrne. Two of Indiana's best players ever. Um, so uh, talk to us a little bit. Why'd you pick uh, Steve Alford? Um, it just seemed like a cool person to pick, and it looked so like interesting to learn about him. Excellent. Did you learn a lot of good things? Yeah. Where's he from? Uh, Franklin, Indiana. Excellent. You ever been down there? No. no do you want to? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe someday. Okay. Over here. Why'd you choose Mr. Bird? Because my family really likes him, and he has a really cool backstory. Yeah. Very cool backstory. Well, uh, you were too young to see him play, but some of the best basketball I ever saw in my life was Larry Bird, so uh, one of the best players ever, of course. And uh, where's he from? What'd you learn about him? Uh, he's from West Baden Springs, Indiana, and he made 649 three-pointers in his life. 649, I don't think I could make one. That's pretty good, isn't it? All right, well, tell everybody your name again. My name is Harrison Dunwoody. And again? My name is Aaron Kiss. Now wave at the camera and say, hi, Mom. All right, good job, guys. Thank you. So I found this young man. He's a uh, zebra. He's wearing uh, number 61. That's a lineman's number, right? You look like a running back, though. Tell everybody your name. My name is Landon. Landon what? Weaver. You been a good kid today? Yes. Yeah? What grade are you in now? Third grade. Did you say a senior? A third grade. Third grader. Okay, well, this is my nephew here, one of the... Uh, I don't know, prides of the family. You've been a good kid, right? Treating your teachers right? You looking forward to coming here and doing this one of these days for the Wax Museum? Yep. All right, well, I'll let you go back. Wave at Mom and Dad. Say hi. Hi. All right, good job. Well, if you can't tell, it is chaos at Riddle School today. They're having a lot of fun. They're moving a lot of people through here so that all the kids can present and uh, parents and relatives can come in and see all these great projects. What a great idea. They've had lots of fun with this. I remember when my kids came through to do it, too many projects to cover them all. And I just want to congratulate all the kids on doing a great job today. We've had a lot of fun, and I want to thank you for tuning in and watching. Let's keep up the uh, great school spirit here at Riddle.